Now this brings me to the Creative Composer. The Creative Composer is a kind of editor which allows you to create a blended creative. Now in the left you see uh, a group, actually a list of available widgets which can be dragged to the center. In the center you have this what we call a canvas. This thing represents the actual screen. And in the right side you have the properties frame which represents the properties of the selected element inside the canvas. Currently it shows you the properties of the creative itself. You can see the name, you can see the fill. Now what does it mean fill? It means the background. I can choose something else like maybe this kind of yellow. Also I have a suggested duration if I like to change the default duration for this creative and also I can change the aspect ratio to something else which can be custom aspect ratio. So let's build a blended creative using the widgets in the left. So what can I do? I can drag for example a label widget just right here. I can type any text I like, like this is a label widget. I can also change the format of this widget. For example, like let's make the text red and I can change the background to be yellow like this if I like. Make it bold, reshape and replace it. Now let's drag a clock widget and let's change the format of this clock to this for example. And let's drag here the weather widget just like that. You can change the location like Los Angeles. in California. And I can add other widgets such as the RSS widget like this. This one is the CNN. I can change its properties for example to go from left to right. I can also change the left and top to be like this. Left is gonna be zero and the top will be 80 and the width is going to be 100 percent just like that to take the full width of the canvas. I have other widgets here like for example the image widget and once I do this once I drag the image widget to the canvas it brings me directly into my media library where I can choose all the available images. So let's uh, for example pick this one. Let's change the size like that. I can also drag the video widget like that. Let's pick this video and put it just right here. Now let's press the save button. I have other widgets here which I can drag and use. Also have this one which is called slideshow widget. Now if I put here the slideshow widget I can drag any other widget into this slideshow widget to have it just like that. For example I'll drag an image just like that. Let's choose this one. Now instead of dragging I can also do this. I can just click on any of these icons. For example to add another image I can click this rather than dragging the image widget. So let's choose this one. Now I have another slide. See I have two slides inside this slideshow widget. Each one has a duration of 10 seconds which can be changed to 
anything else. You can also add either a video slide or a text slide using those buttons or actually almost anything which is can be dragged from the left side where I have the widget list inside. Let's drag maybe a video just like this. Let's pick the first one this time and I have it here. Now let's press the save again now one thing which I can do is to press the preview to see how this blended creative is going to look like so this is how it's going to look like take some time to download all the media items and once I press this X button it stops the preview mode and brings me back into the creative composer now pay attention Except the save and preview buttons, I also have the My Library, which brings me again to my media library, where I can upload new content, delete existing one, and so on. Now this button here can make the Creative Composer a little bit bigger, or bring it back to its original size. Now here in this link which I click can be less or more that means to expose the whole uh, list of widgets in the left side. Now I have this blended creative if I click just right here it can show me again the properties of the creative itself like the name and other properties. If I press the close editor now I can see that I have a new creative, a blended creative, this one. Now if you look the little icon in the top in the bottom left corner looks a little bit different than this one of the video creative or this one of the image creative. So now I have a bunch of creatives which I'm going to use in my first playlist. Now but before I do that I'd like to talk about other buttons which I see here I can stand that means highlight any of the existing creatives then press the delete button it will give me a question a confirmation you can press the yes and so long with this creative I just must uh, I must say that if I delete an existing creative which uh, actually uh, takes part in an existing playlist that creative will not appear in that playlist anymore. Now if I'd like I can highlight any of the creatives then press the edit and it will bring me back in a case of a blended creative into the creative composer. Now if I go to a simple creative like this image creative I can click the edit or just double click the creative itself it's the same like clicking edit and it will take me to this kind of editor that in this case of a simple creative I can only change the default duration or its name. And if I would like I can also duplicate a creative. It's very useful in case of blended creatives which I like to use as such kind of template every time to change a small thing. So I can do that. Let's for example click on this one. Now I have it twice here it's called brainstorming jpg while here it's called brainstorming jpg dash copy 